Alright everyone, it's Eamon07 with another quick and dirty video. And I mean that in the least sexual way. Hopefully with time, uh, these videos will become less dirty. Uh, still quick though. And today we're talking about another Samsung Galaxy trick, hack, whatever you want to call it, mod. Again, this is the T-Mobile version of the Samsung Galaxy. And I got it all prettied up and yes, I am an anime fan. Today what I'm talking about is clockwork recovery. Now, if you have a Nexus, if you have an Evo, if you have any Android phone, you probably heard of uh, recovery, or uh, Amon Raw is a very popular recovery, so is clockwork. Uh, and these uh, recoveries are used to you know, install ROMs and uh, make an Android, or make an Android backup, which is like a system restore. Uh, very useful, very, very useful when you're switching ROMs. So unfortunately there's no ROM yet for, um, you know, it's not running Cyanogen or anything, but this is going to be good for people who want to um, save the stock firmware because it's not really available for T-Mobile yet. We don't have the stock firmware. We have a system dump, but we don't have the stock firmware. Anyway, that's getting too technical. But uh, um, today someone ported over the clockwork recovery over to the Samsung Galaxy Tab. And, uh, you know, I stayed up doing it and I got it to work the first time and then I did something really stupid. I flashed the Evo, it wasn't a, it wasn't a ROM but it was like some update and I don't know why I did it because I didn't even notice it was for Evo and my whole thing screwed up and one of the problems with these things is that it saves everything on the internal uh, hard drive or internal memory uh, storage and when you wipe it, it erases everything on there obviously but you know, and just long story short, you know, I, for like one minute, I moved my titanium backup from external um, storage, like which is, titanium backup is a very popular application used to backup, you know, your apps. And uh, I moved it from the SD card to the, you know, into the internal hard drive, and then my phone messed up, and I couldn't get back my stuff. So I'm really mad that I lost everything, and it's like 2.30 or oh, 3 o'clock in the morning now doing this. Anyways. Sorry, I digress. So let me just show you what you really want to see, and that's clockwork recovery working. So the only way to get this work at, at this point right now is to connect it to your computer and use terminal or command prompt and use ADB to get into the recovery mode. Um, ADB is the Android debug bridge, and it comes with the SDK. So all this, you know, if you know how to use ADB, you probably know how to get into the, uh, um, into the recovery. So once you have it installed, I'll post the link to wherever, um, you know, I, I take no credit for this. I did not do any of this, but I commend the guys, whoever did it. I don't have know the names off the top of my head, but uh, let's just get to it, okay? So, and, um, you know, it's connected to the computer right now. I just uh, did the command on the computer, and it should restart. And you'll see this T-Mobile logo, Galaxy tab. Okay, now... You might think that it didn't work, but it actually did. And there's a really weird bug, and um, and it's actually in recovery right now. Recovery, and every other menu that you select puts the screen to black. The screen goes black. So, for example, right now, you, I, and you use the toggle to go up and down, and then power to select. So, I turn my toggle up now. There it is. See, so it says clockwork recovery. Sorry about the quality. And uh, yeah, clockwork recovery. 2.5 point and SGS edition. So reboot, uh, you know, apply from an update.zip, uh, factory in, uh, wipe, wipe the cache, the, uh, install from SD card, backup, backup restore, that's something I should have done, and let's see, mount and storage, advance, and go back. So, so now if I want to select up, if I'm going to go up to advance, the screen will go black, but advance is selected. Um, but I don't know why, it's, it's a bug, you know, it happens. It's an early build. So next I'm going to go to Mount and Storage, and the next one's going to be Back and Restore, Back Up and Restore, and see the screen turns off. So every other prom turns it off, it's still going up the, the system. So let's just go through some of these, right, guys, very quickly. Um, you know, one important, right now is I uninstall and from zip card. Oops, what did I do? Okay, so I clicked on Install from Zip. And the menus, you know, as you've probably seen this, um, you know, apply from zip or update.zip, uh, choose from zip, signature on off, and let's go back. 
All right, see how you can mount the storage. Uh, there's not enough flash right now. I mean, the thing that I did flash, I, like I said, it was for Evo. I feel so dumb for doing it because, you know, I'm not like a newbie or anything. I know how to do it. I just I didn't know, realize what form it was coming from because the guy linked it in the thread. So I, I thought it was just like his own little thing, you know, and it, it was stupid, but okay. Uh, format, SD card, and I'm not doing that. Um, so yeah, you, this is basically it. I mean, it works. I, I mean, it did work. The flashing part did work, and it was successful because my phone like didn't. It, it rebooted, and then when I tried to go back into recovery, it screwed up completely. So I'm assuming that it worked, even though it didn't. If you know what I mean. If you don't, it's okay. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is like do an Android. Uh, backup. So let's go down to backup. All right, backup is selected, and I don't know what it says. Oh, damn, I think it just says enter. To to see, I don't even know. Damn it. Well, I guess I can't really do an Android now because I don't know what's gonna happen. So if I press enter and it, something, well, oh, what happened? Okay, so I select it, then go down. Uh, apparently, there's no menu, so. Oops. What's happening? Uh, okay, so I'm not even gonna attempt it. Thank God it didn't work because I do not want to mess up my thing again. Okay, so that's basically it. Um, what the hell just happened? I'm just gonna reboot and just get out of this before I break anything. Okay, so there it is. It's working um, partially. Uh, Oh my god, I can't even um, yeah, reboot. Yeah, finally. Okay, great. So that's it. Um, I'm going to post all the links up to, on the website. XDA. Um, it was from the XDA developers. Duh, it's always from XDA. And that's basically it. If you guys have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. I'll get back to you. Um, if you want to follow me on Twitter, aim07. Dot, or that's it, aim07. I don't have a website yet. And uh, so, yeah, again, if you guys want to see something specific, if you want to see me install, I mean, you know, if you have a question or you want to see a video of me doing a specific task, let me know. Hit me up on the comments or on Twitter. Thanks, guys.